Hi alle sammen, hello everyone, welcome to learn Norwegian with the Norwegian Language School. Today we will discuss how to use Norwegian verbs in active and passive form. Understanding how to use verbs um, in uh, active and passive form is a crucial part of mastering any language, and Norwegian is no different. Verbs are words uh, used to describe an action, state or occurrence. The form that these verbs uh, take can drastically change the meaning of a sentence. To better understand uh, Norwegian verbs, this uh, discussion, uh, in this uh, discussion, we will delve into both active and passive forms and provide examples how to illuminate the differences. Active verbs. In an active sentence, the subject performs the action and the verb used uh, is active. This is the most common way of expressing action in both English and Norwegian. Let's take a look at an example. Hun spiser epple. Hun spiser epple. Hun spiser epple. She eats the apple. In this sentence, the subject hun, 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 she is performing the action eating the apple. Spiser. Spise, spise is the active form of the verb to eat. Or spise, or spise, or spise in present tense. Norwegian verbs are not conjugated according to the subject as they are in many other languages. That means that the verb form stays the same no matter who is performing the action. Jeg spise epple. Jeg spiser epple. Jeg spiser epple. I eat the apple. Vi spiser epple. Vi spiser epple. Vi spiser epple. We eat the apple. Passive verbs. In passive sentences, the subject is acted upon rather than the performing the action. In Norwegian, there are several ways to form a passive sentence. But for simplicity, we will focus on the most common method, which is using the auxiliary verb bli, bli, bli to become, followed by the past, past particle. Let's look at an example. Epple bli spist. Epple bli spist. Epple bli spist. The apple is being eaten. In this sentence, epple. Apple, apple, the apple, is not performing any action. Instead, it's being acted upon. Please, beast, please, beast, please, beast, is the passive form of the verb to eat or spise or spise or spise in present tense. The past participle in Norwegian is usually formed by adding te, te. Te or ete, ete, ete to the infinitive, depending on the verb. O spise, o spise, o spise, to eat. Spist, 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 eaten. O se, o se, o se, to see. Set, 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 seen. O skive. Or skive, or skive, to write. Skavet, 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 written. It is also important to note that in Norwegian, when using the passive form, the verb agreement rules still don't change. The verb bli, 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 stays the same no matter who or what is being acted upon. Boken bli last. Boken bli last. Boken bli last. The book is being read. Bökene blir läst. Bökene blir läst. Bökene blir läst. The book are being read. Understanding the use of active and passive verbs in Norwegian is an essential step forward uh, toward fluency in the language. Like any other language skill, it requires practice and immersion. So don't be afraid to make mistakes and try incorporating these verb forms into your daily language usage. As you become more comfortable with these concepts, your understanding of Norwegian uh, greatly improves. 
Do you want to learn more Norwegian? We are now offering a free Norwegian trial class. Sign up for a free trial class by going to our website nlsnorwegian.no nlsnorwegian.no